Hey, this is Dr. Sissel. I want to talk to you today about something I see all the time. Um, even yesterday in the uh, College World Series, I saw one of their best players popping their own neck. Um, I, you know, people probably like twist really far and whatever, or take their head and do some <sighs> popping. Now, the reason it feels so good is because um, when you pop your own neck, just inside the joint in the spinal column, uh, it releases these things called endorphins, which are 10 times or so stronger than morphine. So you feel like euphoria upon doing it. Um, but there's a serious problem with doing so. It is unlike popping your knuckles or your hands or stuff like that. Um, your spinal column happens to surround your spinal cord. Um, so it's a big deal that um, you be doing anything twisting like that to it because it's gonna cause problems. Here's what happens is the vertebrae that gets stuck um, is not the one that you're moving when you do your thing. Um, the vertebrae that are stuck as stays, the ones above and below it immediately um, become hypermobile, which they move very easily. They will shear on the joints that are stuck. Um, and when you're doing all that popping, even though it's feeling good, you're causing ligament laxity, um, definitely um, long-term use or doing of that will lead to um, spurring and um, disc problems, issues like that, not to mention the fact that you're twisting and stretching out nerve roots and all that stuff that will cause issues later. So do yourself a favor, um, maybe not immediately a favor, but for you in 10 years or five years or whatever, uh, if it becomes a habit like most people, uh, you're gonna do it all the time because it feels good and you're just causing yourself major, major problems, arthritic issues later in life um, if you do that. So uh, try to avoid all kinds of any kind of popping of your own body. Um, I can't do it to myself and I'm a chiropractor, it just doesn't work. <clears throat> you have to have that bone that's stuck moved so that all the segments are mobile correctly um, instead of um, just shearing the ones that are hypermobile because there is a vertebrae that is out of place and stuck. Um, go get it done properly and correctly by a chiropractor and it'll get fixed and strong and all that stuff. Just remember that the head, the shoulder, carrying all the body and load and, and weight bearing, the spine's got to be in those curves and if a bone shifts out of position, pinches a nerve, shuts off the ability for that nerve to work like it's supposed to and depending on where that nerve goes will lead to disease, um, degeneration, breaking down, muscle weakness, um, pain and all that stuff will eventually happen. It just depends on what nerve it is and where it goes to. So really be conscious of not popping your own spine. Get that thing adjusted like it's supposed to be by a chiropractor. I'm a chiropractor and I get adjusted all the time. So you just have to stay. Um, it's just part of like life, you know, just like you go to a dentist and um, when they tell you to, you got to go to a chiropractor a couple times a month, um, maybe more at the beginning to get the thing fixed. Just like I exercise every day, just like you eat properly every day, all that stuff is just this chiropractic is just part of your lifestyle. It's got to be because motion and getting your spine moving like it's supposed to and in the correct positions is the only way your body lasts as long as it's supposed to, lives as well as it's supposed to, has full of energy, full of life, um, not breaking down and dwindling away at 65, 70 years old. So just really work on staying conscious of. Um, making your body move like it's supposed to get off the couch stop sitting around start exercising um, high intensity interval training is the best way to go CrossFit um, these types of things are the best way to train if you can't afford CrossFit understandable um, get on insanity start doing Tabatas like we talked about a couple of videos ago um, really, you have no excuse not to be working out. It's just part of your life. It's just part. You should plan your day around your exercise regimen. Um, food, you make sure you're eating 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal as a guy, 15 to 20 grams per protein per meal three times a day as a girl. Um, raw nuts and seeds all day throughout the day, avocados, coconut oil, um, raw meat, um, not raw milk, raw cheese, grass-fed, wild, and free-range meats, um, lots of vegetables, try to stay away from fruit, you know, don't eat a lot of fruit all day, just don't, maybe in the morning, um, if you're craving fruit during the day, great, Granny Smith apples, grapefruit, 
you just want to really maintain your diet and really work on you know all that stuff if you're not sleeping well if you're not sleeping six seven eight hours a night consistently and feeling refreshed you know I talked about sleep last video really go refer back to that um, and make sure you're sleeping full dark environment I mean this has got to be how it goes no TV nothing like that when you're sleeping um, so have a great day I'll uh, post another video soon thanks